my beautiful friends. I'm Desiree, for those of you who are new, and I am encouraging you to hit that subscribe button so you can officially be part of the Danzig Fitness family. I'm super excited for today's workout. I have a 60-minute full-body Pilates hit. That's right. Don't worry, friends. I broke up this workout into six sections, so it is not scary at all. I promise you it actually goes by really, really fast. Each section is 10 minutes, consisting of five exercises, which we will do twice through. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Don't you worry, you won't miss a thing because during your 20 second rest, I will be demoing the next exercise. So I don't get to rest, but you do, all right? You won't miss a thing, I promise. Grab your mat, that is all you need, no equipment necessary. Let me demo exercise one for you. We're starting with a standing warm-up section. So we're just gonna swing the arms forward four times and then swing the arms back also four times. Really just letting it go gently, warming up the body, getting our heart rates up and getting our circulation going. All right, everyone, let's get to it. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay, my friends, let's get it going. Swinging out those arms, making sure you're pressing the shoulders down, standing up nice and tall. You can move your feet around a little bit if you want. Just really let it go and just loosen everything up. We're at 22 seconds, keep going. Good, 10 seconds left. Make sure you're breathing nice and deep, just getting in touch with your breath. Beautiful, all right. Take your 20 second rest. Here's exercise number two. Legs are nice and wide. We're just gonna roll down, bend the right knee, and then bend the left knee. Straighten both legs and roll it on up. All right, everyone, roll it down. Either palms on the floor, forearms on the floor, or just let your body hang if you can't quite make it all the way down there. That is a-okay. Good, articulating through the spine and just feeling a really nice stretch in the backs of the legs here. Good, we're at 20 seconds. Keep going, remember, you set your own tempo. You do not have to go the speed that I'm going at. It's all about you. Set your own tempo. Great job, all right, take your 20 second rest. Exercise number three. We're going to plie squat four times. Then turn the legs into your parallel line. Hands on the floor, we're going to twist, reach up with the right, and twist, reach up with the left. Go for it, everyone. So your tailbone is going straight down here for your plie squats. And then we turn the legs and feet into the parallel line to fold forward. Twist, reach up with your right. Twist, reach up with your left and articulate, rolling up through the spine. Beautiful. 21 seconds, keep it going. Ten seconds left, breathing deep. Wonderful, all right, take your rest. Here's exercise number four. We're just going to crunch the knees into the chest as we lift the arms up to the sky. All right, here we go everyone, standing up nice and tall. And go for it. Really be mindful that as you bring your arms up, you don't lose the space between your shoulders and ears, meaning keep those shoulders pressing down. So we have a nice, beautiful, long neck. Belly button always pulling in and up, of course, and tailbone is going straight down to the floor. We're at 16 seconds. Keep going, keep breathing. 
stay strong. Good job. All right, exercise number five. We're going to squat pulse down four times, and then we hamstring curl the right leg and hamstring curl the left leg also four times. All right. Go for it, my friends. Legs and feet are in the parallel line, about hip width apart. And then stand up nice and tall, bringing your heel towards your bottom. Good, hamstring curls, really stretching out those quads. 24 seconds, keep it going. Good, we are at 12 seconds. Knees in line with the toes, shoulders down. Woohoo! All right, circuit one complete. Let's do that whole thing one more time, starting with those arm circles. Deep breaths, everyone. All right, let it go. Circling the arms forward four times and circling back. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds left. Almost there. Keep breathing deep. Good, all right, take your 20 second rest and let's get ready for exercise. Number two, wide leg roll down and then we bend the right and shift your weight and bend the left. Chin to chest, roll it down, shift your weight to the right, shift your weight to the left. Stretch up both legs and rolling up through the spine. Beautiful. 25 seconds left. Good, we're at 10 seconds, keep going. Good work, everyone. All right, exercise three. We are in a externally rotated or turned out position. Here's our ballet second position. Tailbone shoots straight down to the floor for our four plie squats. Go for it, everyone. Pulsing down, knees in line over those toes, and then turn the legs and feet into your parallel line. Twist, reach up. And twist, reach up, and roll up through the spine. Good, keep it going, 23 seconds. Nice long necks. Ten seconds left, keep going. Yes, you did it. All right, shake it out and let's get ready for exercise. Number four, here come our knee lifts and we will reach the arms up to the sky as the knee comes into the chest. Of course, keeping the shoulders down. Go for it, friends. Thirty seconds. Good, twenty seconds. Keep going. Try to keep up your pace. 
breathing deep, core muscles always engaged. 10 seconds left, keep going. Wonderful. All right, moving right along. Exercise number five. It goes by so fast, right? All right, here come our squat pulses, right? We are in our parallel line, legs and feet, hip width apart. And we're sitting our pelvis back, pulsing down four times, reaching the arms up. And then we go for our four hamstring curls, bringing your heel towards your bottom, stretching out those quads. 25 seconds, keep going my friends. Ten seconds left, almost there. Woohoo! Section one complete. Moving on to section two, core and abs. We're gonna start this in a high plank. Reach your right arm out, left arm out, right heel to the sky, left heel to the sky. Okay, my friends, go for it. So we're releasing one limb from the floor, one at a time. Core muscles really have to be engaged here because the goal is to shift as little as possible. So keep those tummy muscles working, belly button pulling in and up to the spine, and no cheating, get those booties down. We're at 15 seconds, keep going. Beautiful. All right, take your 20 second rest. And here is exercise number two. Starting in a half roll back position, we're going to again crunch the knees into the chest and just clap your hands under that thigh. Go for it, everyone. Belly should be really scooped here. Tailbone is tucked, shoulders down. Good, and I would take a big exhale when you crunch the knee into the chest and inhale to lower the leg back down and open the arms wide. 22 seconds, keep going everyone, you got this. Good, almost there, 10 seconds left, don't give up, keep going. Wonderful. All right, exercise three. We're going to get on the backs and we are going to go for our TikToks. Tilting the legs to the left and then to the right. And then we're going to curl up the head, neck, and shoulders. Hands go underneath the bottom and we just flutter the legs. Go for it, everyone. So twisting left, twisting right, and curl up. Imprint your spine and flutter the legs, really finding length in your legs, and return back to your starting position. Awesome, we got 21 seconds. Keep going, everyone. Try to keep up your pace. Remember, you set your own tempo. Don't worry about the speed that I'm going. It's all about you. 10 seconds, we're almost there. Breathe. Great job, everyone. All right, take your 20 second rest. Here is exercise four. We are going to get into a forearm plank and all we're gonna do is just alternate tapping knees down to the floor, one at a time. Go for it, my friends. Really feel your body nice and flat, horizontal, parallel to the floor. Again, no cheating, no booties sticking up. Get those booties down and just keep pulling your navel to your spine. I know that seems like a lot of work and it is, but it makes the exercise that much easier 
and more beneficial. Good, keep tapping the knees down, breathing deep for eight seconds, keep going. Wonderful, all right, stick with me. We are at exercise five. So, a new one today. We're gonna start with four wiggles. You've seen this one before, but then we are going to straddle split the legs and wiggle in our straddle. Doesn't that look fun? Okay, friends, we are exhaling on each bend. And same thing in your straddle position. We're trying to connect the elbow to the knee. Make sure your spine is imprinting. We don't want to arch the back. Long, beautiful legs in that straddle. And remember, you can always flex your feet. I get questions about this all the time. I point my feet because the ballerina in me can't help it. But if you get cramps, just flex your feet or even relax your feet in a neutral position. There's nothing wrong with that. Six seconds, don't stop. Woohoo! All right, circuit one complete. Let's do this section one more time. Here we go, high plank. We are going to reach our limbs out one at a time, shifting as little as possible. So tummy muscles working. Go for it. Both arms out and then both heels to the sky. 25 seconds, keep going. Breathe, smile, think happy thoughts. You can do this. Good, we're almost there, we're at 10 seconds. Don't stop. Great job, all right. Let's get ready for exercise two. Here is our half rollback position. We're going to alternate crunching knees into the chest as we clap underneath our leg. Go for it everyone, feel that belly nice and scooped. Tailbone is tucked. Exhale on each knee crunch. 28 seconds, you got this, keep going, stay strong. Eight seconds left, you're almost there. Yes, wonderful. All right, lay on the backs. Take some nice deep breaths. We have our two TikToks and then our flutter kicks. Arms out to the side like a T. Legs in your tabletop position. And go for it. TikTok left. TikTok right. So good for those obliques. Roll up, hands underneath the bottom, imprint your spine, flutter one, two, three, four, and return back to your starting pose. Beautiful, keep it going, 20 seconds. Ten seconds left, we're almost there, don't give up. Woohoo! All right. You're doing so amazing. Stick with me, my friends. Here we go for exercise number four. Here is our forearm plank, and we're just going to alternate tapping knees down to the floor. All right, make it happen. Tummy muscles working. Keep your gaze at the mat. Breathe deep and just think happy thoughts. You are doing something so amazing for your body, for your mind right now, so keep it going. 20 seconds.
Ten seconds left. You are almost there. Don't you dare give up on me. Awesome. All right. And we're at exercise five. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? Here come our wiggles. So we wiggle four times in our butterfly pose and then in our straddle split pose. Get it going, everyone. Exhaling on each bend. That'll help you bend that extra little bit. Upper body is moving as well as the lower body. Don't arch the back. Keep pressing your back into the mat. We're at 22 seconds. Keep going. Stay strong. You can do it. Ten seconds left. Don't stop. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Section two complete. Moving on to our legs and booty section. We're going to get onto the forearm and we are going to do an elevated clamshell with leg extension. Woo! All right, my friends, open up, lengthen the leg, join the toes together, and lower the leg down. 30 seconds. Really squeezing the glutes to open up in your clamshell, and just find the longest length in your leg as you extend and reach your leg up. 12 seconds, keep going. Wonderful. All right. Swing out those arms if you need to. It's definitely an arm workout as well as a core workout, although everything is always a core workout, right? We always have to keep our cores working. All right. Exercise two is the same thing, just on the other side. We got to even it out. Go for it, everyone. If you're struggling with this one, you can modify by just keeping your pelvis on the floor. 28 seconds, keep going, keep breathing. Feel your shoulders stacked, hips stacked. And really squeeze that booty to open up. 15 seconds, almost there, keep breathing. All right, swing out those arms. Here is exercise number three. We're going to go into a shoulder bridge, but I want you to cross your right leg over the left. We're going to pulse it up four times and then extend your right leg up and cross it over again. Go for it, my friends. So the arms are pressing into the floor for support. So really let your arms help you. We need to make sure that the hips are lifted and more importantly, level. So just because your right leg is crossed over the left doesn't mean that you're allowed to drop that right side down. We have to keep that right side lifting up. So that left leg is working hard. Left glute should be on fire. Good, we're at 10 seconds. Keep going, you can do it. So good, you guys. All right, take some nice deep breaths. Stretch out those hammies if you need to. Exercise number four is the same thing, just on the other side. So cross your left leg over the right. And here we go. Pulse those hips up four times. Then lengthen your left leg up and cross it over beautiful we are at 30 seconds keep breathing squeeze those buns fifteen seconds left keep going don't give up
You did it! I know, those are killer. All right, we're at exercise five. We're gonna keep this party going. Flip it over, forearm tabletop. We are going to lift the right leg up to an arabesque, lower down to the side, arabesque, and then bring that leg down, and then we do the same thing on the other side. Go for it, arabesque, lower down to the side, arabesque, and bring that knee down. Again, shifting as little as possible, so the more you engage in your core, the easier it'll be to just really keep your body centered and stable. Good, keep going, we're at 18 seconds. This one is so good to really lift the booty. And obviously we're sculpting the legs. Eight seconds, keep going. So good, everyone. Okay, circuit one complete, stick with me. We're gonna do that one more time. Let's get down on our forearm on our side. And here comes our elevated clamshell with leg extension. Go for it. If you're getting tired, remember, you can just put your pelvis down on the floor. Or if you're struggling to balance here, put your pelvis down. Nothing wrong with that. Good, we're at 22 seconds. I really love this one because we're working so many different muscle groups at the same time. Yay, multitasking at its best. 12 seconds, don't you dare stop. Keep going, you can do it. Great work. All right, swing out those arms, take some nice deep breaths, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Swing those legs around. Go for it. Twenty six seconds. Stay strong, everyone. If you're getting tired or you feel yourself getting a little sloppy, try to keep moving. Just slow your pace down so you can really feel what you're doing. Make each movement count. 10 seconds. Great job. All right, stick with me. Let's get ready for our shoulder bridge. On the backs, arms by your sides. Cross your right leg over the left. Go for it, pulse the hips up four times, really squeezing those glutes, and then lengthen your right leg up to the sky as long as you can make it. 28 seconds, really push into the floor with that left foot. Good, 20 seconds, keep going, don't you dare stop. Ten seconds left, you can do it. Woohoo! All right, breathe deep. Stir those legs around if you need to. And let's get ready for the second side. Cross the left leg over the right, arms by your sides, lift up. And get it going, pulsing up four times, hips level. Lengthen your left leg up nice and long and repeat. 30 seconds, you got this. Sixteen seconds left. And we're at 10. Keep going. Woo! 
Woohoo! Alrighty, one more exercise in this section. Let's get ready for our forearm tabletop arabesque. Lower down to the side, lift back up to your arabesque, and then alternate on the other side. Go for it, everyone. Longest legs you can make. Never gripping, always lengthening nice and long. That's how we create those beautiful, long, lean dancer muscles. And of course, belly button always pulling up towards the spine. Super important. Don't forget about that. 22 seconds. Keep going. Good. 10 seconds left. Stay in control of the movement. Yes! Section three complete. Moving on to section four, arms and back. All right, friends, we're going to get on to the bellies. Lifting up, we're going to pump the arms up four times. Forearm plank, adjust to your high plank, back down to your forearm plank, and then start it up again. Go for it, everyone. It's like you're trying to slap the ceiling with the palms of your hands, so we're really targeting the triceps in those arm pumps. Good. And of course, we're also working the back here. You're going to feel this in the glutes and in the hamstrings. 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. Keep it going. Woohoo! All right, shake it out. Exercise two. We're going to go into a boat pose or a teaser pose with the knees bent. Join your elbows and palms together, and we're going to prayer pulse four times. Lift up, and then tricep dip pulses also four times. Okay, squeezing the elbows and the palms together. You're going to feel this in the shoulders and in the chest. Reverse tabletop, elbows shoot straight back, and now we're working those triceps again. 26 seconds left. Keep going, everyone. Almost there, 10 seconds, you can do it. Woohoo! All righty. Stick with me, friends. Up next, we're going to get into a high plank pose, and we're just going to walk the hands back towards the feet, and then walk the hands back out to your high plank. If you have to bend your knees a little bit, that is A-OK. -okay. Go for it, everyone. Walking the hands back towards the feet, and then walking the hands back out to your plank. Get that booty down. Good. Really breathe deep during this exercise, especially. And for those of you who aren't aware, because so many people think that I don't struggle, trust me, I struggle specifically with any sort of upper body section. So let's fight for it. Let's get it done together. We got this. Ten seconds left. All right, exercise number four. We're gonna get down on the bellies. Laying in an X, lifting up into your beautiful back extension. We're gonna squeeze and pulse the shoulder blades back three times and then extend out to your V in front of you. Squeeze one, two, three, extend out. And squeeze one, two, Three, extend out, good. We're working the entire back of the body here because the legs are off the floor. If that's too hard for you, just put your legs down on the floor. There's nothing wrong with that. Otherwise, try to challenge yourself and keep the legs and feet up. 15 seconds, keep going, don't stop.
Okay, everyone, stick with me. We are at exercise five. We are going to start in a high plank and do some push-ups. Now, I can't do a regular push-up, so I'm going to lower my knees down, then push up, and then lift my knees off the floor back into my high plank. Go for it, friends. If you can manage to do a regular traditional push-up, then go for it. If you're like me and you struggle with push-ups, push-ups are really ugh, my nemesis, um, then do exactly what I'm doing. Lower your knees down, do your modified push-up, and then lift the knees off the floor and just take a moment in your high plank. We're at 16 seconds. Let's go, everyone. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Alrighty, circuit one complete. Let's make it happen. Let's do it once again. Trust me, my upper body is my weakest link, so this is a tough section for me. But we're in this together. Let's make it happen. Pumping the arms up four times, working those triceps, and then lift up to your forearm plank, adjust to your high plank, back down to the forearms, and then lower the body down. Again, you can keep the legs on the floor for your arm pumps if you need to. Otherwise, challenge yourself and try to lift those legs off the mat, working the glutes and hamstrings. 12 seconds, keep going. Great job, my friends. All right, let's flip it over. Here comes your boat pose or teaser pose. Knees are bent, legs are squeezing together. Join your elbows and your palms. We're pulsing the arms up in our prayer pulses. Pulsing up four times. Reverse tabletop and tricep dips also four times. 30 seconds, keep going. We're at 10 seconds, you can do it, don't stop. Yes! All right, take some nice deep breaths and we'll get ready for exercise number three. Here is your high plank pose. We're walking the hands in towards the feet and then walking the hands back out. Go for it, friends. Remember, if you can keep your legs straight, try to keep them straight. If you have to bend your knees a little bit, that's okay too. 26 seconds, don't stop, keep it going. Almost there. Yes! All right, we got two more exercises in this section. Stick with me. Let's get onto the bellies. We're laying down in a narrow X. Legs and arms open about the width of your yoga mat. Lift everything up. We're squeezing the shoulder blades together three times and then lengthen your arms out. Squeeze back two three and lengthen out good most important part is that we're keeping our core engaged pull your navel to your spine to protect your lower back super important 20 seconds keep going don't give up ten seconds we're almost there Yes, 
Yes! All right. Exercise five, last one in this section. Let's make it happen. Here come our da 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 push ups. All right, friends, remember, modify if you need to, lower the knees down and then lift the knees off the floor so you can take a moment in your beautiful high plank pose. 28 seconds, stay strong, breathe, smile, think happy thoughts. We can do it! Ten seconds, almost there. Yes! All right, friends. Section four complete. We are more than halfway there. Here comes our fun mishmash section. We're going to straddle crunch four times, roll up, and we do four beautiful toe taps in our teaser pose. Reaching forward, crunching up, one, two, three, four times. Roll it on up and tapping the toes four times and roll it back down. 26 seconds. So the head, neck, shoulders don't hit the floor at all during this exercise. We're staying in that crunched up position in our straddle and then using our cores to roll up for our toe taps. 10 seconds. Yes, all right. Exercise two. Let's start in a tabletop pose with the toes tucked. Your right leg goes to an arabesque hydrant twice, and then we are going to thread that right leg through and extend. So we're just gonna worry about the right leg on this side, and then of course we'll repeat it on the second side. Arabesque hydrant twice, and then thread your right leg through, and then back to your starting pose. So keep those left toes tucked under so you're ready to make that nice transition as you thread your right leg through. 18 seconds, keep going, keep breathing. Yes, isn't that a fun one? All right, shake it out. Let's get ready to do the same thing on the second side. So now your left leg is going to start in your beautiful arabesque. Tuck your right toes under. And we go arabesque hydrant, arabesque hydrant, arabesque, thread your left leg through and then back to your starting position. Good, 28 seconds. Belly button pulling in and up, always, always keep that core working. It really does make everything that much easier. So don't let your center get all soft and saggy. Keep those core muscles working, 10 seconds. Really nice job, my friends. All right, moving along. Exercise four, we're gonna start on the knees. Hands go behind the head. We're going to stand up and kick with a flexed foot and then back down onto the knees. Then onto the other side. Step extend and lower back down to the knees. Let's go for it, everyone. Make sure you're standing on a nice, long, strong, supporting leg. And this exercise is really, really amazing and such a great challenge for your strength, for your flexibility, and for your balance. Really feel your shoulders stacked above your hips the whole time. 10 seconds. Nice. 
Nice. All right, exercise five. I have another prone exercise for you. So we're going to get down onto the bellies, starting in our X. We open and close four times. Then from here, you're going to cross your left leg over to the right, and then cross your right leg over to the left. Go for it, everyone. X's and I's. Open, close. Two, three, four times. Squeeze the legs together. Arms out to the side like a T. Bring your left leg to the right and your right leg to the left. Tapping those toes down to the floor. That should feel super amazing. It's such a nice twist for the back. My back always cracks when I do this, which feels quite nice. 12 seconds. Keep it going. Yes! Isn't that a fun section? Fun mishmash. I love those exercises. All right, we're doing them again. Stick with me, friends. Back to exercise one. Straddle crunch pulses. Reach your arms forward, pulsing up four times, exhaling on each pulse. Roll up and toe taps also four times. Roll down with control. Don't let your head hit the floor. So we're staying in that crunched up position this whole exercise. 20 seconds. Keep going, everyone. I know you can do it. Don't give up. I'm getting tired too, but we got to push ourselves. Make it happen. 10 seconds. Really nice job, everyone. All right, we're gonna flip over. Tabletop position. All right, let's tuck those left toes under. Right leg is doing the work here. Arabesque hydrant, arabesque hydrant, arabesque, and then thread your right leg through. Lengthen long and return back to your starting pose. Good. 28 seconds. Keep going, everyone. You got this. Don't give up. Good, we're almost there, 10 seconds. Keep going, you can do it. Nice job, all right, take some nice deep breath. Shake it out, shake it out. And let's get ready for the second side. Tucking the right toes under, left leg is doing all the work now. Arabesque hydrant, arabesque hydrant, arabesque, thread the left leg through, and return back to your starting pose. Beautiful. Twenty-two seconds. Keep going. Breathe deep. Navel pulling in to your spine. 10 seconds left, you can do it. Yes, so good. All right, we are moving right along here. Exercise number four, let's get onto the knees. Lace up the fingers, hands go behind the head, elbows are nice and wide. Stand up, extend to the front, energy shooting out of that heel, and then come back down onto the knees. Then step forward with the other foot. Extend and gently lower back down. Beautiful, 24 seconds. Stay in control, make each movement count. Such a good exercise for your core. The more you keep your center engaged, the easier it's going to be to stay balanced. Eight seconds. Mm -hmm. 
really nice job, everyone. All right. And we're at exercise five. Can you believe it? Let's get on to the bellies. X's and I's four times. And then we do that nice spine twist. Open close four times. Squeeze the legs, arms out to the side like a T. And cross your leg over to the opposite side. Cross the other leg over to the opposite side. Toes gently touching the floor. And start it up again. So good. 20 seconds. Stay strong. You got this. Enjoy this nice twist. Doesn't that feel amazing? Good. We're almost there. 10 seconds. Keep going. Don't stop. Yes! Oh my god, I am so proud of all of you. Section 5 complete. This is literally our last section. You cannot give up on me now. We have to finish this together. Here we go. Stretch and lengthen section. We're going to sit in a straddle split, bend side, face your leg, bend side, and then sit up tall. Go for it. Bend, face your leg, bend, sit up tall, and bend and turn and bend and sit up good keep your legs nice and lengthened feet are flexed great one for the core great one for the obliques specifically and of course we're getting a really nice stretch with the legs and the hips 10 seconds keep going Really nice. All right, friends, here is exercise number two. Take your 20 second rest. We're going to get down onto the forearms, bend the knees, squeezing the legs together. Little can can. Extend your legs tilting right, center, and left, and center. And go for it. So pretend like your legs are tied together. We want to keep them squeezing in. And we're just lengthening our legs up and out at these various angles. 24 seconds. Really try to find your longest length. Even if you don't have the flexibility to stretch your legs all the way, as long as you're striving to make your longest legs, that's what we want. 10 seconds. Really nice job. All right, exercise three. I have a nice little side laying combo for you. Stacking the legs, we're going to do a fire hydrant. Bottom leg comes up and we lower both legs down. Clamshell straddle split and clamshell and lower down. So we start with our hydrant. Lift the top leg, lift the bottom, lower the bottom, lower the top, open clamshell and then split the legs apart. Don't put that bottom leg on the floor. It's just sort of hovering your mat. Keep going, everyone. We're working the booties, we're working the thighs, and of course, we're stretching out the limbs as well. Again, multitasking, gotta love it. 12 seconds, keep going, friends, you can do it. Good, really, really nice. I like that one. New hydrant variation with that bottom leg. Quite spicy, huh? All right, let's swing the legs around. Exercise four is the same thing, just on the other side. So let's even it out. Lift the top, lift the bottom, lower the bottom, lower the top. Clamshell and split the legs apart. Join the toes or the heels together and lower down, right? So remember, like I said earlier, if you don't like pointing your feet, you don't have to. You can always flex your feet. Join the heels together in your clamshell instead of the toes, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. 12 seconds, don't stop. Yes. 
Yes, I really love that one. All right, and we're at exercise five. It always amazes me. We're gonna do four scissors on our backs and then use your core, roll up to a seated position. Ooh, and four scissors in your seated position. Go for it, everyone. So the spine is imprinting on your back and then you're rolling up to a seated position, but that belly is scooped and the tailbone is tucked. If you're struggling to balance in that seated position, feel free to just put your hands on the floor for support. Nothing wrong with that. Otherwise, challenge yourself, use your core. Good, 12 seconds. Alrighty, last home stretch, everyone. We're going to repeat that circuit one more time and then you're done. Let's do it. Let's finish this up. Back to your straddle split. Shoulders down, arms up. Bend to the side. Turn to face your leg. Bend to the side and bring the body back up. Keep going, 30 seconds. Try to keep your kneecaps and toes facing up to the sky. We don't want the legs to internally rotate, so we wanna keep that rotation. Just your upper body moves. Almost there, 12 seconds. Very nice, my friends. Okay, here we go. Exercise number two. Let's get onto the forearms. Elbows under the shoulders. And here comes our beautiful can-can variation. Point your toes or flex your feet, your choice. And go for it, everyone. Extend the legs to the right. Straight up. Left and straight up good 28 seconds always striving to make your longest legs possible keep the belly scooped 16 seconds don't stop Really nice job, everybody. All right, stick with me. Three more exercises left. We can do it. Come down on your side, stack the legs. And go for it. Lift the top, lift the bottom. Lower the bottom, lower the top. Clamshell split and clamshell lower down. Keep it going. Ten seconds, don't stop. Really, really nice, everyone. All right, pat out that booty. Let's sit up, swing the legs around. Let's even everything out and repeat on our second side. And go for it, everyone. Twenty-five seconds, you can do it. Breathing deep, lengthening those legs in opposition.
Beautiful job. All right, friends, we have one more. Let's do it. Lay on your backs. We have our four scissors on the backs and then four seated scissors. Go for it, friends. Really lengthening the legs in opposition. Breathing deep, longest legs you can make. Use your core roll up and four slices here. Twenty seconds left. You can do it. Don't give up. We're almost there. Really push yourself this last little bit. Finish strong. Ten seconds. Yes! And you are complete. All right, friends, let's come to our home base position. Hug your knees into the chest. Breathe deep, rock your knees side to side, massage out your lower back. And place your feet on the floor, open your knees out to the side into your butterfly position. Allow your hips to open up, feel a nice stretch in those inner thighs. Close your eyes and just take some nice deep breaths. I am so very proud of all of you. This was not an easy workout by any means, but you should feel so proud of yourself. You should feel so accomplished for doing an hour hit. I mean, that is not an easy thing, but mind over matter, if you commit to it and you believe in yourself and you push yourself, you can accomplish anything. So look at that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know you completed it. Comment down below, let me know how you did. Let me know your favorite part. Maybe let me know the section that you struggled with the most. Was it the upper body section like mine? <laughs> Sending so much love and hugs your way. Thank you all so much for your support. It means the world to me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Take care of you and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.